currently it's Labor Day in the uh, United States today and that is like a sort of kickoff of uh, the American election campaigns uh, you know like the final elections not just uh, those primary elections and um, yeah. yeah and uh, it reminds me because uh, of a lesson I should have learned a long time ago and I think thought I had learned but apparently I hadn't uh, I had this uh, friend who was talking was talking about elections and uh, I wondered why he was voting for his party because I really, really didn't like them and so on and he you know, got, uh, started talking about I don't know anything about American elections, how it works and so on and um, it's extremely hard to re, uh, re state for another or to leave one party to state for another party and it takes a lot of work and been trying and other people he knows who have been trying and it's so hard blah 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 and I bought this I mean I'm a sweet I don't know everything about American elections even if I'm interested in politic, uh, politic uh, overall and American political a little bit more because it affects so much uh, of Swedish polit uh, political life and so on so yeah but uh, food okay American knows better than me mm -hmm. and Whenever people have been talking about this, and I like, yeah, but I heard it's really hard to, you know, to switch party and so on and like that. And today I just thought about a little longer, like, is it? How hard can it be? So I Google it, and anybody who knows me, especially me from online version of me, knows that I'm extremely bad at Googling things. I mean, other people say Google is your best friend, not mine. Google hate me. I never find anything. But I, who Google hates. It took me like two minutes to find um, what I was looking for. And I was like, okay, maybe this, this is another state. Maybe it works differently. So I checked out the state where this guy lives and looked at the same thing there. And like, it's kind of a true. So I, like, I Googled again. I had a friend reading it and I was like, it is true. That is true. It takes you five minutes to leave one party and register for another. Five minutes. It's like you go on this page and just click the link and fill in everything. And if it's uh, you know you have to fill in different um, things depending on you know, if you already registered for another party or if you first uh, time um, register or if you live in abroad or things like that. But it's so simple, even I, the Swede, can understand it. It takes you five minutes. The only thing you need to remember is to do this at least 15 days before an election, because uh, it could take some time before uh, the old registration is gone and the new is starting to work. And for a while there could be two registration on the same person, and then none of the votes are valid. That's all you need to keep in mind. And I've been there telling people that it's hard and so on and I feel so stupid. I feel extremely stupid. And I mean this is something I should have learned and I thought I learned for a long long time ago. To never, to always check the facts. Always. I, I shouldn't, I should have done this a long time ago. I didn't. I don't know why I did, didn't. And um, yeah, I definitely should <laughs> check facts like that. It's like, um, I don't know. <laughs> It's so stupid, but yeah. Um, so very learned two things. It's easy to uh, to leave a party and join another, and you always need to check the facts if you don't want to look stupid. And I don't want to even if I do. So yeah, uh, that was today's lesson. Um, another thing uh, I thought about also checking facts. There are situations you shouldn't check check facts, and we're not. Very many, but very few. Like at my wor workplace today, uh, I stepped into the room. There was three adults and some children. One of the children was crying hysterically, and you could tell that one of the adults was like, "I don't know what's going on. I'm new here." Okay, and the other ones like, "You should stop crying. It's over now. Don't be such a crybaby." Like that attitude. And it's, this is a preschool. Very small kids. The oldest kid we have are five years old. So small kids. And if a sh small child is crying like that, it would make no good for three other adults to just no step like, stop crying, it's over. It's like, it doesn't work like that. It's terrifying. 
I don't care what happened before. It doesn't matter. So I stepped in between and that is something I don't want to do most of the times because it undermines my colleagues. But in this case, I'm on Charles' side. So I just stepped in between, asked the kid, do you want to sit in my lap? And the kid just, you know, pour themselves into my lap, wrap arms around my neck and soaking my shirt and I was like, do you need a hug? And the kid's like, and we just tag a little bit and said, is it better now? And the kid's like, do you want to finish the sandwich? And I was like, no, but I want my milk. And I said, okay, so do you share that? And everyone was, you know, happy and the kid was laughing and talking. And sometimes you don't need to know background, but most of the times you do. But uh, you don't need to know the background in order to be um, tracked like the adult and to be this calm, safe person for a child to rest in or anyone to rest in. And uh, yeah, it's very powerful today.